CBS 2 News has learned that multiple people have been stabbed in Far Rockaway. Several others, including two police officers, are hurt. And CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us from the scene where she's been this morning giving us the very latest. Christina. First responders came upon a horrifying scene in Far Rockaway this morning of a man who allegedly killed four of his family members and critically injured another. It all started at around 5 o'clock this morning with a 911 call from a young woman who said her cousin was killing members of her family. Two officers responded to 467 Beach 22nd Street, and as they approached the driveway, they noticed a man leaving with luggage. The officer stopped him for questioning, and about 10 seconds into the conversation, police say the suspect drew a knife, stabbing one cop in the neck and the other in the head. Uh, a 28-year veteran is able to draw his firearm. He's able to discharge his weapon to stop the assault, and he was able to stop the, the perpetrator. As more officers rushed to the block, they discovered an 11-year-old girl lying lifeless outside the home. They also found the living room of the house engulfed with flames and believe the suspect lit a couch on his way out. The FDNY was called, and after extinguishing the fire, police found three more deceased victims, a 12-year-old boy, a 44-year-old woman, and a man in his 30s. Another 61-year-old woman was also rushed to the hospital in life-threatening condition. Detectives believe all four who died were stabbed to death. The weapon that was used to injure the officers, a typical kitchen steak knife, and at this time this is the only weapon we recovered. So as part of the investigation, we'll determine if this was the weapon that was used to harm all the victims. The suspect who was killed by officers has been identified as 38-year-old Courtney Gordon. He has one prior arrest for strangulation and domestic violence in the Bronx. Police say they don't know what triggered the suspect to violently attack his family members. The two injured officers are expected to recover. Reporting from Far Rockaway, Queens, Christina Fan, CBS2 News.